Hi, I'm actor Ian Champion, and welcome to History of Horror Cinema, my personal podcast tour of the good, bad, and the ugly of horror movie history. If you like what you hear, please don't forget to hit subscribe. Swamp Thing, 1982 Wes Craven continued his gradual rise through major studio associations with Swamp Thing in 1982. By now, he should have been enjoying the greater resources that such an alliance could offer. Yet the relative generosity of a $3 million budget was still much less than this project needed, and he was continually penny-pinched and second-guessed by his producers to the film's detriment. Yet it does have an offbeat appeal. The DC comic book of Swamp Thing was the brainchild of writer Len Wein and the artist Bernie Wrightson, and was conceived at a time when the vogue was for darker, horror-influenced comics. Other popular titles of that era were Morbius the Living Vampire and Tomb of Dracula, for example. Craven's film, based on his script, was as faithful as he could be to the comic book tone, creating a tragic hero in Dr. Alec Holland, a research scientist whose bioengineered formula is targeted for possible weaponization by evil paramilitary leader Anton Arcane. Holland's southern swamp base is attacked, causing him to be doused by his own formula and transformed essentially into the Hulk in appearance, but retaining both conscience and Holland's intelligence. He hides out in the swamp, only surfacing to protect government worker Alice Cable, whom he had fallen in love with, one of the changes by Craven, as the original Cable was male. The tone of the movie iteration pays homage to comic book style by using bright primary colors and iris wipes of different shapes to separate scenes a technique that may also have been inspired by Spielberg and Lucas's roaring success with Raiders of the Lost Ark only the previous year. And it has the oddball, campy feel of the Toxic Avenger, reinforced by the green creature suit and Holland's soulful gravity inside it. Dick Duroc inhabits the Swamp Thing in monster form, after being played with sincerity and a twinkle of ladies' man charm by Ray Wise in the first act. Wise would become best known as the oily Leland Palmer in TV's Twin Peaks, and equally memorably in Tim Robbins' Republican satire Bob Roberts. Also commendably straight-faced is Louis Jordan as Arcane, a strikingly elegant Gallic Count Dracula burnt into my childhood memory from the 1977 BBC TV production. From Craven's past repertory company comes David Last House on the Left Hess, here, morphing his hideous Krug from that film into one of the decidedly PG-rated, bumbling, paintball-style revolutionaries under Arcane. As the love interest, horror fans, and indeed anyone, will welcome the curvy and talented Adrienne Barbeau, who, as an ex-Broadway star, Rizzo in the original cast of Grease, became a horror icon from 1980's The Fog onwards. She is not just an alluring figure physically, but stands out within the genre as one of the few female actors who could gamely show off her body without compromising her streetwise and feisty portrayals of modern women. Unlike Barbeau, Swamp Thing does become a victim both to an unevenness of tone, one or two deaths are oddly graphic for the intended rating, and also a third act whose pace and ambition seriously plummets. Craven blamed this on the budget running out, which is a shame as the first two acts give us helicopter entrances and boat explosions to lift it above the usual exploitation fare, coupled with Harry Manfredini's excellent score, who created the memorable theme for Friday the 13th. Sadly, in spite of grandiose talk of tie-in merchandising to rival Tim Burton's later Batman in scope, for example t-shirts that changed colour from the wearer's body heat, for example, the film failed to catch fire. Amazon Prime recently re-energized the name's following with its 2019 series, and an episode guest role for Barbeau, but this of course was far too late to help Craven's career, that was now forced to take a hideous retrograde step into his back catalogue to make ends meet. Thanks for listening. If you like what you hear, please don't forget to hit subscribe.